weather holds and although most of the specks are gone, there's still some great duck snow and honker hunting to be had. Mel puts ducks in his hunter's laps on a great field hunt and I'm up next on a calm evening with a bright moon setting up on a bunch of adult snows. Jason has a pot of ducks pull a switch on him while spotting, but his expertise anticipates the change and he gets it done on a pothole again. Good job, J-Mo. I'm Claudio Angaro and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27 year old school teacher and said to myself, I'm gonna build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. Here, put it back against the blind, and then you take a little bit of this, and you do the toe. So we're dressing the blinds up, teaching these old guys what the heck to do. They've only been here 20 times, but you gotta teach them every time, hey. Hey, John? If the guys knew what they were doing, we wouldn't have to do that. There you go. Anyway, yeah, so we're, we're getting the blinds all done, and uh, once we got that, I'm gonna start throwing out some decoys. The boys will stake them in couple of robos and beat these ducks up if we can. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to hunting with these guys. I usually get to hunt with them every year. Last year I didn't get to, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna beat something up this morning, that's for sure. Get ready on these ducks guys. Right in front. Get ready. Kill him! Five. Well, that was kind of pretty. That's how they're gonna come in. I'll get another one. Will you get another one? Yeah, I'll get another one. Okay. They come in like that, one. I'll get one. Wind's not quite right. Get ready, guys. <laughs> Kill him, guys. Did you get one, Steve? No, I Someone didn't. shot one in front of me, but I killed the other Yeah, I was thinking I wasted Oh, right in front, guys, right in front. <laughs> Let him come around. <laughs> I don't think we need to call. I really don't. Go, 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 go! Good shooting, guys. I thought we'd be done before the sun come up. Oh, you can? Oh, yeah. There's a That's lot of more dust. behind it. We got a bunch more to the right, so just let, them, let something get set up here. Here we go. Let him come around. Kill him, guys, kill him. Good shooting, boys. Well, we're halfway done by the time the sun come up. Widgeon, if you don't want him, let him go. All right, here's a bunch of mallards. Get ready, guys. Kill him, guys. Did we shoot widgeons? Yeah. Well, can I do what I'm told? <laughs> Watch these ones in front.
Yeah, we got some bunch of honkers in here. It, it's a good option. The, the geese love this field. So, should be no issues there. I've hunted this... I've probably hunted this field ten times in the past six years. I don't know, it's it's a rolly hilly field and the honkers love this field. We got half decent wind tonight. You know, it's 11k gusting to 19. Oh, hang on. So from 3 to 6, it's supposed to switch 270 degrees. That'll make life interesting. Whoa. That's gonna be crappy. It's probably about the worst wind you could ever have between six and nine. <laughs> I'll let these go and then we'll come back tonight, see what we can do. Here's more ducks, get in. Get ready, you don't need to call no more. Trying to get them in front of everybody, guys. Kill them, guys. This isn't a very good shoot, though. No. I thought we'd be done by now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get in, we got more ducks. Kill them, guys. One more volley and we're picking up to see what we got. Kill them, guys, kill them. Only one? We need like three more. Kill! That thing got some altitude quick. Kill! Well, let's go pick up real quick and see what we got. Well, I just found a snow show here, but uh, what happened is it was actually standing crop yesterday. They cut it last night and they only got about halfway done, of course, before they had to quit late last night. And the birds found it this morning. And, uh, but they got the combines in the field right now and the boys are all standing around the combines and they're ready to go, so they're gonna mess this, uh, this hunt up. Bad luck. Jeff's gonna go in on a honker hunt, and uh, then we've got another snow hunt just down the road here that uh, we're most likely gonna, gonna try tonight. And uh, Claudio's got another small honker hunt that uh, would be our third option, so we'll see how it all plays out in the next half an hour. We got them. It wasn't a big deal. Uh, it's just that it's tough. Tough when the sun gets high and the feed's off and they're, they're done feeding for the morning. But yeah, no. We come out smelling like a rose again. So, no, it was a great hunt. Lots of birds. They come out a little late this morning. They, they all come back in and they puddled uh, in the roost behind me. And then they come out in, in real nice flights and, and really, really did it. So, it, it was a lot of fun. Of course, uh, with with this group here, we've hunted with them a ton, so you just heckle them the whole morning with when they miss something, because John's a pretty top-notch shot, and uh, today he missed a few, so you got to stay on them, right? But it, it's a lot of fun, yeah. Mel Heckling, was on me. He's non -stop. He said, quit moving, and I hadn't moved an inch. <laughs> I hadn't blinked in four hours. Yeah, no, I don't know that that Mel guy. I think hey, Mel, can I blink now? <laughs> What's that? Can I blink now? <laughs> yeah, but blink, blink with your good eye. <laughs> I don't know what's up for tonight, but I'm sure it's all good. So, uh, what do the texts say? Yeah, 
don't don't really know. It's very vague on here, so they've obviously been phoning each other this morning. So who knows? We'll know when we get back and have the meeting, I guess. But uh, yeah, uh, I got obviously got one that's still good. Jay just said, so I'll go run by there on the way home and check it. It sounds like a little bit of a scramble, but we'll come through. We always do. We'll have something. As long as Jeff's got one, we'll put something together. I'm gonna pack this stuff up, we're gonna get out of here. The guy's pretty well got it packed up, I just gotta load it, so. Yeah, good. Claudio's out east today, hunting some snow geese. These guys shot their ducks this morning. Uh, Jeff's hunting honkers. Thought he was gonna take a rip at some snow geese. They've been a little uh, hard to pattern these days. This one's been consistent, so uh, close to the water in a good traffic area, so good number in here this morning, should be good. We're set up a little early, just in case uh, we get some early flights. Got a good wind, hopefully it holds, should be good. I'm itching to hunt, I haven't hunted since Monday, it's Friday, so I'm in on this snow goose hunt, which is great. Uh, and Mal and Brad have watched it, Jay watched it this morning because they hunted. So we have going on just your standard snow goose rig. Um, we've got a north wind switching to, or pardon me, a northwest wind switching to northeast, switching to actually southeast by dark. So a little bit of interesting rig and I'm, right now we're shooting it straight out of the north with a kind of a feed band pinching off on the east side so if the wind does come around, those sides that kind of approach are left as the head or the spread, and they'll target that hole or they come straight into the hole. So anyways, basically I got a feed band 30 yards out. Should be able to finish the birds right in here. Clone decoys out front, we're gonna have eight of them. Two at the e-collars, 15 yards off each end, point into the middle, and then two, four right in the hole. See, how, see what happens. Kill them both, guys. That's what I'm talking about. That was sweet. Arrived at uh, target hunt for tomorrow. Tomorrow's uh, turnaround day, Saturday morning. Uh, what I've got here is a puddle uh, in uh, Barley Field. We've got a flight going in there right now, so that's good. We just rolled up, looked in the puddle, and you know, there's a hundred ducks on it, but now I'm, there's more ducks here. They're starting to fly over the puddle, not even looking at it. And I just see now half a mile away, they're starting to swirl in another field. So I'm gonna run over there and see what's going on. This one might not go, but I've got ducks here now. Actually, they're going into the puddle. So anyways, might not be in, but we'll figure it out. It's early, it's only 5.30, so. We'll go from there. Drill them, boys, that's perfect. Kill them all. Nice. Get your, get your heads on, boys. Get your cover on. That's perfect, guys. Roll them, roll them, roll them. That's what I like to see. Reload. Totally different level of conviction. Okay, okay. Get ready, get ready. See if you're going to spin, get ready, get ready. <laughs> <laughs> you just drill over the hole. You taste it, you taste it. Yeah. <laughs> ready, ready? Rip those, rip those right there, boys. Lots of targets. Ready, ready? Rip 
Get ready. <laughs> Get ready. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Right there, boys. Shoot him, shoot him. Nice. Load quick, load quick. Just load your guns. Load your guns, load your guns and get down. to see if our ducks. Well, we found the ducks that were swirling in the kitty corner field to ours. They're feeding in the stubble now. I can still see ducks going into our puddle, but if they come out of our puddle and go into this field, that's a very much so false sense of security because they've been feeding in the field with the puddle. So in the morning, if you go and set up on the puddle, they can go straight to the feed, which is in a different field, and you could be in trouble. So hopefully my ducks, now I've got geese going into the other field. And that's not good either. That's even more of an attractant for those ducks to go into this other field. Uh, field. I can see ducks coming out. There must be some water in that field too, so that's not good either. Yeah, a lot of ducks are coming out of there now. So I think we're out. I'll let the boys know what's going on. And, but yeah, they're really piling into there now. <clears throat> Unless we get permission on this one, let's see whose it is. All right, so uh, Dale's is pretty much dead. They moved Kitty Corner into Roy's. I got Roy's just for tomorrow. Okay. But How are you feeling about that one? Well, the show is on Roy's. Yeah, they're yeah. they're feeding in there. Some snows moved in, and but even they're coming out of Dale's uh, puddle and going into Roy's. Now there's two puddles on Roy's, so I just got to pick one flag the other and go from there. Okay. So they're feeding in Roy's, so I think it's just, you know, it's just the mob moved over, right? So what do you do? You just go where they last were, right? Okay, so you're feeling pretty good right now. Wow, well, yeah, well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're, they're doing what they're supposed okay. they're doing what they're supposed to be doing, so Okay, well I'm going to retreat now. He's followed me three times since I just followed you. He's followed me three times. He's in a panic! And Barb's texting me to find out how Claude Claudio's doing. <laughs> okay, buddy. Well, so I'm, I'm just making sure you're good. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll get her done. Okay, buddy. Okay. That sounds good. Okay, bye. Talk in a bit. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Ah, uh, you know, it went very well. I mean, I thought, and, and what was really cool about today is we were set up early, and the migrators out of the heavens, they'd get over the rig, and they'd come down, and, uh, well, we only killed a few of those, but... Uh, the wind went totally flat, which I think hurt us quite a bit. Ended up with, I don't know, we haven't counted them yet, up yet, 35, 45 or something. The rig worked. The ones that did it, did it. The ones that didn't, didn't, you know, and ended up with a bunch of adults again, which is really cool. And that's that, the end of another great day. We're ready for the morning, and I think it's two duck hunts. Mel had a car breakdown, so Brad went and rescued him. He got it saved, or he got the car started, ended up racing over to the hunt put that one to bed so Mel said he's good to go and then Jason's good to go so tomorrow Saturday the end of week number seven here at the lodge all right uh, we arrived at our duck hunt Saturday morning last shoot for these guys uh, great mallard hunt over there's actually ducks leaving the pond right now and uh, over uh, water, they've been feeding in the barley right next to the pothole, so it's a classic duck hunt, hopefully, cross my fingers. And uh, the guys are just getting the blinds set up. We're gonna be hunting out of the uh, upright blinds, the stand-up blinds. Uh, this group really likes hunting out of them. And uh, we'll go from there. We got about an hour to get some decoy floaters out and the blinds in, the toolies and the cattails. And go from there, we got a fairly heavy wind this morning, so cross our fingers. We'll see you in about an hour. 
Okay, go. On the right, in front, on the left. Three of them. Okay, he's got two out of the three. Good job. This low one on the left. Okay, go. Straight out. This low one. This low one. Now. I finally killed one. Did you finally get him? Okay, two straight out. Get ready, two straight out. Go, 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 go. Somebody else killed the widget. All right, go. There you go. Good shot. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Okay, go. Down low on the right. Good shooting, guys. Okay, go. Straight out low. Straight out low. Get them all. Get them all. Hey. Did I hit it? Oh, I hit it or not. Okay, get ready. There's two right here, you guys. Go. Two. Straight out. Straight out. Straight out. Did you hit him? Down. Yeah, way up there. <laughs> Took feathers out of him. Watch the right side. Go, go, right in front. All right, gentlemen. That is 40. Well. Uh, I don't know, quarter after eight, 45 minutes. The boys shot 40 ducks this morning. Went well. It wasn't as, uh, I thought we'd see more ducks than, you know, there because there was a lot feeding in here last night. But it was just slow and steady and a real pleasurable hunt, that's for sure. So it worked out good. Now we gotta pick them all up, clean up, head back to the lodge, have a bite to eat, and off to the airport these guys go. Had a good time? Great time. Good.